Hey, what's up guys, it's Kyle Watts. Today we're gonna to take the Sony ZV-1 and make your webcam on your Mac go from this to this. Stick around. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Kyle Watts, and on this channel we go through different gear review and film tutorials. So if you haven't, go hit that subscribe button now and follow along. So today we're gonna to go through the Sony ZV-1 and see what it takes to make this to a webcam on your Mac or your MacBook. It's pretty simple, it just requires a couple little things. So first thing you're gonna need is a camera, whether it's like the Sony ZV-1 or A6400 or Sony A7 III. Pretty much all the new Sony cameras will work with this. So once you have the camera, all you're gonna need is a USB cable and to download the Sony Imaging Edge application. That's it, that's all it takes, it's simple. Okay, so first thing you're going to do now is just open a browser and type in imagingedge.sony.net. I will leave a link in the description. Uh, but pretty much you open the site here, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you'll see the Imaging Edge webcam download. So go ahead and hit that button. And next thing it's gonna do is it's gonna bring up a list of all the cameras that you might be using. Uh, if you have a few different cameras, definitely just go ahead and select all the ones you have, even if you don't plan on using them. Uh, in my case, I have an A6400. Uh, Sony ZV-1. Uh, I do have an RX100 Mark IV, so I'm just going to click that. Probably never going to use that one. And then uh, you're just going to want to hit download for Mac. After it's downloaded, it'll bring it up a thing. You want to go to the PKG, double click that, and it's going to go through a list of different things that you need to do, like every other app. Uh, you just go through them, continue, continue, agree to the statements, uh, and then you're going to want to hit install. I'm not actually going to install this at this point because I already do have it installed. So once you have it installed, it's going to restart your computer. When it reopens up, you're gonna have it on your computer. Now, when you go into the launch pad, you're not gonna find it necessarily. You can download the Imaging Edge desktop as well if you wanna have other options, but the webcam one itself is not gonna show up as an app. It's kind of more of like a little bit of a, kind of like a plug-in or something. All right, before you can use your camera as a webcam, there's a couple different settings on the camera that you're gonna to have to change. Uh, some of these might look a little different based on which camera you're using. But uh, first you're gonna wanna bring up in the menu, your network, which looks like a little globe. Go down to control with smartphone and make sure that is turned off. And then after that, uh, you're gonna wanna go down to the PC remote function and turn that on. Uh, on the ZV-1, that's as far as it goes. On a couple other cameras, it might ask you USB, uh, PC remote, and you have to turn that on as well. And after that one, you can go to your toolbox Scroll over until you get to USB power supply. Now this is one you're gonna to wanna to turn on as well because you wanna power your camera with your USB while it's plugged in to the computer. Um, that will save you from having to worry about running out of batteries. Okay, so now that you got all your camera settings changed, all you have to do is plug in the USB. And once you plug in the USB, you're gonna see a loading USB to computer signal and it will uh, bring up your camera in uh, different streaming services here. If you want to open up a, a stream, kind of like here, I'm running on StreamYard. This does work with things like Zoom and other channels. I don't believe it works with FaceTime. But uh, as you can see here, it'll ask you which camera you're using. Right now I'm using the stock camera that's on the iMac, which looks fairly awful right now. So all I'm gonna do is just switch to the Sony webcam. And as you can see now, we have a great looking webcam instead of that nasty looking whatever you want to call it on the other one. So, okay, so one other important thing is, is that when you plug in the camera through USB, you will not actually have external audio through the camera. So you will need to have some sort of source of audio, whether it's like a USB mic or like a Zoom H1. Uh, I'm using the Rode NTG. The Rode NTG vid mic is also a USB mic, so this works great for that as well. Uh, you can use your in onboard microphone from your computer. It's not gonna sound great, and you're gonna have a really good looking video kind of bad audio and it's gonna just be kind of weird. So wouldn't recommend that, but if you have to, that will work. You do have to pick your audio in whatever streaming service you're in. All right, you guys, so that's it. Uh, really simple way to get your mirrorless camera to work as a webcam for your Mac or MacBook. And this will make your streams and your video conference calls a world better than it used to be using that stock crappy looking mic. All right, you guys, if you feel like this video is useful, please get hit that like button. Uh, any questions, leave me a comment down below. I'll get back to you. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other gear reviews and film tutorials. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Later.